Well, good evening, folks. Gary here from GBL, the old church five acre homestead, standing in front of our outdoor Newfie kitchen today, getting ready to prepare a traditional Newfoundland fish and brews with scrunchions and onions. That's what we're doing in our outdoor kitchen today. Let's go inside and have a look at our spread. This is what we're going to be preparing and cooking today. We have some russet potatoes, we have some hard tack or hard bread that has been soaking overnight, soaking for at least 12 hours, so it's all nice and soft. And it's gonna be going into this bruise bag very, very soon. We have some cod fillets, cut off the shores of Fogo Island and processed at the Fogo Island Co-op Society Limited. And we were able to get some a while ago. So these were uh, frozen fillets, cod fillets that we thawed out overnight and now they are ready to go into the pot. Now, the pot is all ready, and actually we're cooking today on our Denali Pro 3 burner stove here in our outdoor kitchen. We have our cast iron frying pan, where we're gonna be preparing our scrunchions, which is fat back pork right here, and we're gonna be putting an, uh, put, cutting up an onion, or dicing up an onion, and that's going in there as well. So here's our pot of salted water, all ready to go. We are going to uh, cut up our potatoes, and they're going in the pot, and then we're also going to be putting in that codfish. So, that's the first step in preparing a traditional Newfoundland and Labrador codfish and brews dinner. Okay, I'm going to fire up this Denali stove here now and get the, get the heat going here. There we go. Okay, that's going to blow all the way in there. Turn it up a little bit, Mr. Gary. Get her going. Put the cover on. Now, that's our pot of water that's going to be boiling. It's already been salted. Okay, so now I'm going to peel some of these potatoes and get them in the, in the water. These are russet potatoes, by the way. Okay, I'm going to peel these and they're just going to be going into the pot. Peeling the very last potato here now, folks. And I'm just going to drop them in the pot. In fact, the water in that pot now is nearly boiled the salted water. Okay, it's been salted to taste. Propane fire is different than electric fire. It is a very fast heat and the water, as I said, is nearly boiled. So I'm just going to drop those potatoes in. Total cooking time for traditional Newfoundland and Labrador fish and brews is about one hour from the time you put in your potatoes and then your fish and then in the last 15-20 minutes put in the brews. Okay, so there's the potatoes, they're in. Next thing is to prepare this fish that I have here. These are one pound fillets of codfish. And as I said earlier, this is caught off the shores, the water around Fogo Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. And it's been processed at the Fogo Island Co-op Society Limited. And it's been frozen in one pound blocks. So they were thawed out. We took them out last night from our freezer. And I'm just gonna take them out. And I'm gonna cut them into portion sizes. So uh, just in half, like that. And as I said, they'll be going into the pot. We have four there. Uh, we always cook extra because we like having leftovers or couldn'ts. So we'll be having couldn'ts tomorrow or the next day for sure. Uh, of fish and brews. Okay, now, like I said, the water, so you can see, you can see that the water is boiling mad there behind me now. So the potatoes are cooking away. And so by uh, this fish, in short order. We have four fillets, or four pounds, of cod. Okay, get it out of the wrapper there, Mr. Gary. And like I said, I'm just cutting it right down the middle, so half pound pieces. So they're going in the pot. And we're gonna let that cook for about 30 minutes. And at around the 30 minute mark, we're going to put in the brews. Okay, now, I'll bring you over and show you what it looks like in the pot. Let's take a look. Okay, so there you go, potatoes and fish in our pot boiling away. There you go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bag up my brews. 
Bruise is going into this bag. Here's what bruise looks like. Actually, like I said, it's hard tack. Okay, here's what, here's what cakes of hard bread actually look like, folks, if you haven't seen it before. It's really, really hard, okay? So you need to soak them overnight. And this bruise has been soaking for now over 12 hours. Now, you're gonna have to excuse my hands because that's what I'm gonna be using to pick this up out of this pot and put it into this bag. This is a bruise bag or a vegetable bag. It, it helps keep everything together. And we'll be putting this in the pot right on top and it will be steamed for about 15, 20 minutes, right at the very end. I'll double check the potatoes and I'll double check the fish from time to time. Okay, just wanna put that in the bag there now, I have that done. Okay, get every little bit of it, Mr. Gary. My hands are clean, I made sure of that, I washed them before I came outside, so I have sanitized my hands, because I knew I would be handling food. Okay. So this is uh, four cakes of that bruise there, folks, that we put on last night. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave it in the bag, and I'm gonna leave the bag there in that little pot. Okay, I'm gonna leave that back there. I'm gonna put the cover on to it. Now, I have, I have honey that I have to prepare. Whoa, gotta check on my pot. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Even though I don't have it up very high, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Now, I have to prepare my fat back into small little squares or scrunchions for the cast iron frying pan. So this is some fat back, pork scrunchions it's called. Okay, it's already been cut into cubes, but they're fairly big and we don't like them that big. We like them a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna use my orange handled knife right here and I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces and then I'm gonna slice and dice that onion right there. So like I said, I'm just gonna cut these into smaller pieces. I don't like them too big, folks. Just, a, just those small pieces. They render out better if they're smaller anyway. And I'm gonna be putting them in the cast iron frying pan. So as you can see, I have some, uh, some scrunches now in, uh, in some smaller pieces, and I'm just gonna put them into the cast iron frying pan here. Just salted fat from a from a pig, so it's called pork fat, and it's been salted and left to cure, and then you just cut it up into small cubes and put it in a frying pan. And when it's rendered out, it tastes really, really good, folks. Okay, so we've been about 20 minutes in now. Uh, the uh, fish and the potatoes are doing here in the pot very, very well on this three burner Denali stove. I went and got a few uh, utensils here. The fish is looking really, really nice, folks. Don't want to overcook it. Okay, checking my potatoes. Okay, getting there, getting there another 20 minutes or so. And the potatoes and the fish will be done and we'll be ready to put the bruise in on top. Now the bruise just needs to be steamed in the pot. And we're only gonna do that for about 15, 20 minutes. I have all of my scrunchions here. Well, right now it's still fat back. Okay, it's still salted little pieces, little cubes of salted pork. It will become scrunchions once it's rendered out and turned into little brown, little golden squares. And we're also going to dice up this onion that I have here cleaned in half. And that's going to go in there and that's going to be delish on top of this meal. I have some paper plates because it's too hot to go doing dishes today. I have various uh, serving dishes here so we can put the potatoes in one, the fish in one, the brews in one. I have my paper plates and some other utensils here. Fish it out of the pot, pardon the pun. And then we just need some forks and that kind of stuff because we're gonna be heating outside today. It's just too hot to be eating in the house today. It's around 30 degrees uh, Celsius here in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada today. And very, very soon, we're gonna be enjoying a traditional Newfoundland and Labrador fish and brews supper. Okay, it's time to have another look. Time to check the fish and the potatoes in our pot, and it's time to get ready to put in the brews. We think so, the fish is doing really nice, and so are the potatoes. So, I'm just gonna bring over 
the bruise that's in this bag and okay a little bit of water dripping out of it but that's not too bad and just toss the bag in there like that just drop it in and put the cover back on now I'm gonna put on a timer that needs to be around 15 20 minutes I uh, don't want the pot to over boil and run out okay so we're just gonna let that simmer let the brew steam in the pot and while it's doing that I need to turn on this burner in here and let's get our gun here and light this burner okay let's have a look here we go we're gonna get the scrunchies on the go I gotta cut up that onion there too so there's the onion I need to dice and slice uh, or slice and dice whatever it is and get the onion in with the pork fat uh, when it renders out and put it in on the end and that's gonna be some good folks okay you can probably hear the fat back already already starting to cook and fry and render in that cast iron frying pan and I'm getting ready to slice and dice that onion right there Pretty soon we'll have our own onions and our own russet potatoes from our own garden, which is like literally like just two or three feet from our outdoor kitchen. And we're growing all kinds of vegetables. We have lots and lots of videos on our YouTube channel, folks, about our garden. So you might want to go check that out on our YouTube channel. GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Now, I need to check the... That all is going really nice. Just listen to that. Okay. This is Newfoundland and Labrador come home year. Come home year 2022. A lot of Newfoundlanders are going to be coming home and enjoying meals just like the one that we're cooking here today, folks. The traditional Newfoundland and Labrador fish and brews. Now, I'm going to have to turn that burner down again because okay, I don't want it to burn on. Okay, a lot of flame there. Okay, doing quite good there though, the bruises. Okay, now, scrunchings are doing good as well. Look at that, starting to turn brown, a nice golden brown. In a few more seconds, I'm gonna be putting in the diced onion that I got there. Turn that one down too, Gary. Turn the burners down. Just put the onions in. Scrunchions, that's going to be so delicious. Look at that. Look at that. I'm trying, I'm trying to hold my phone uh, and the camera and record the video at the same time. Not easy, not easy. Our scrunchions and onions are doing quite well. Look at that, look at that, rendering out. The fat back has turned to a nice golden brown. Now we just need those pieces those diced onions to turn the golden brown as well. Okay, so there we go. Let's have a look in our pot. Okay, it's, look at that. Look at that. Okay, now it's still simmering there. I turned the heat down a bit, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit higher there now. But I don't want to turn it too high. Okay, here we go. Now, it's almost done. We should be eating very, very soon. We should be heating very, very soon. Got some paper plates here. Um, question for you. How many of you put brown sugar on your fish and brews? Let us know in the comments. Let us know. We have brown sugar there for those in our family that like it. Okay, so there we are. Picking on those again. Look at that. That's gonna be so much for our dinner, what? Scrunchions and onions. Let's take the cover off. This one right here. And we'll take the grooves out. Put the grooves in this one. Okay, lay that right there. Put the cover on that, Mr. Gary. Now, we're going to take the fish out. This one. Okay. Okay. It looks delicious. 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous looking? Look at that. Look at that codfish. Okay, there's our potatoes. Now I'm gonna turn off that pot. Turn off the heat. Lunches are done. I'm gonna keep them warm though. Right, now, so our fish and our potatoes and our brews. Uh, this is gonna be a self serve, and I'm gonna go first. Okay, that's my, that's my codfish, my fish and brews dinner, folks. Gonna get some scrunchings on there now in a second. A little bit of cracked pepper. Let's get some scrunchings and onions. Okay, there's the money shot. There's my traditional Newfoundland and Labrador fish and brews dinner with scrunchions and onions. Brews, uh, russet potatoes, and codfish. And Rosie is enjoying fish and brews too. Rosie likes traditional Newfoundland and Labrador fish and brews. Don't you miss Rosie? Rosie's enjoying her supper this evening. Newfoundland and Labrador traditional fish and brews. And there you have it, folks, our latest video on our YouTube channel, GBL, The Old Church, Five Acre Homestead. We hope you enjoyed this latest video, and we want to thank you so very, very much for tuning in and watching this video and all our videos. And please, if you haven't done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like, please share, and please leave us lots and lots of comments. And again, folks, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, GBL, The Old Church, Five Acre Homestead. It's free, it's free, it's free, and it's very easy to do so. Thank you, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now. Okay, there's the money shot. There's my traditional Newfoundland and Labrador fish and brews dinner with scrunchions and onions. Brews, uh, russet potatoes, and codfish.